This is Scott the Fix-It Guy answering the old question, should I ever use the self-cleaning feature of my oven? And as a repair person with over 30 years experience helping people fixing ovens, I would say emphatically, no, you shouldn't. And there's a couple reasons why. Um, when I'm asked to come out to do a repair for somebody who's used their self-cleaning oven, oftentimes it's an expensive repair because I have to replace parts. The problem with the self-cleaning feature is that to get rid of all the dirt, the oven has to get up to a really high temperature to, in essence, incinerate all of the grease and dirt that's accumulated over the years. And most of these ovens are coming up around 900 or even up to 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And it gets so hot that any kind of grease or dirt is just incinerated into ash. So later the homeowner can just wipe away that ash residue. But um, when you get to that high of a temperature, a lot of things can go wrong. If this video is helping you, please consider pressing down in the lower right hand corner of your screen the subscribe button and that really helps our channel. One thing is that at that high of a temperature, there's a part inside that protects the oven from getting uh, damaged from too much temperature called the high limit. It's kind of like a fuse, but in most ovens it's not resettable. So if it blows, you have to get into the oven and into where it's hiding, which is often in this upper area and replace it. And usually that's where you have to call in a pro to do that kind of work. Also, if it's an electric oven, to get to that temperature, the bake element or the broil element above or the convection oven uh, element behind have to get really hot for hours and hours. Usually the self cleaning cycle will last anywhere between three to five hours. And it takes a few hours for it to cool down again before you can safely use the oven. So when it's getting that hot for that long, often the coating on the outside of that element gets so hot that it actually melts. And when it melts, it breaks the wire inside. And when the wire inside's broken, no electricity can flow through anymore. So that element has to be replaced, which is also expensive. On some ovens, there's knobs here in the front that are above where the oven opens. And if the seal right here is not in good condition, when the oven gets really hot to do the self-cleaning, door is locked, can't open, but that gap that can be created when the gasket is no longer in good shape, let some of that incredibly hot air come up. And if you have plastic knobs there, it'll melt them. That's not a big deal because those knobs are pretty cheap, but it's just in, it's inconvenient. When you open the door of your oven, a light comes on and there's a little light bulb back there and that light bulb often will break. If you forgot to take out the pans, the racks, the metal racks, they'll become discolored and sometimes can even become warped because it's that hot. Even some of the metal panels that are part of the inside oven assembly can become warped due to that type of heat. Probably the most expensive thing that can happen though is the controller or the brains of your oven where all the electronics or the, the electronic circuit board can get damaged because of that heat. A lot of times these circuit boards are located in this area and the oven has a vent right around here where some of the smoke or, or hot air can come up during a normal um, bake or broil. But during the self-clean feature, some of that crazy hot temperature, 900 to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, can come up and damage the electrical components inside. And then that's really expensive because those controllers, you know, maybe two to three hundred dollars. And then you have to have a pro come in to replace it for you, which could be another hundred and fifty dollars. So pretty expensive. So there's a lot of components that can break during the self-cleaning feature. Uh, the nice part about the self-cleaning feature is that it is pretty convenient to walk, to get rid of the dirt inside your oven manually, just manually cleaning, takes uh, not as long as 
the self cleaning feature, not you know uh, three to three to five hours, but it could be it could be half an hour um, of some pretty good scrubbing to get rid of that grease and dirt that builds up. But I think it's really worth it in in comparison to the possibility of all these things breaking. Now, have you? Can you ever use a self-cleaning feature and just have it work correctly and nothing break? Definitely. But the, inc the incident of them breaking during uh, self-clean is so high that I don't think it's worth the gamble. Now here's the interesting thing. If you pay the extra approximately $100 to get the self-cleaning feature in the oven that you buy, it might be a good idea because to do the self-cleaning, there has to be a lot of extra insulation built up around the oven so that that 900 degree temperature doesn't creep out and you know set your set your cabinet on fire and that's a good thing because then if you are just doing a normal bake or broil to cook your food a lot of that heat is still contained within the oven and not allowed to escape so in essence you need to use a lot less energy every time that you bake and broil and then cumulatively over maybe four or five years, that energy savings can be, can be really good. Funny thing to do <clears throat> if you're doing a, a self-clean with an electric oven is to go outside and look at your electric meter to see how much energy it's using during that feature. And the old pg e ones had a little dial that would spin. And the faster it spin, the more energy was being used. And when these things are doing that heating cycle for that many hours, that thing is spinning really fast and using a lot of energy and it's very expensive. So the other thing you wanna be concerned about is some of the dangers that go along with the self-cleaning feature. Uh, one of them is occasionally there's so much heat generated if it isn't insulated well, that the oven can actually catch on fire and sometimes that fire can spread and actually catch your kitchen on fire and even your house could burn down. So that's certainly a danger. Another thing is whenever you um, do any kind of burning of anything, one of the byproducts is carbon monoxide. And carbon monoxide is very dangerous. Um, if we breathe it in, our brain thinks we're breathing in oxygen, but we don't get the benefit of the oxygen and you can end up really bad headaches, you get really sleepy, and some people can even die if they're exposed to too much carbon monoxide. So whenever the self-cleaning feature is used, the manufacturer always says, make sure you open the window, make sure you have fans going, you have lots of circulation, because that is a problem. Also, self-cleaning feature will have a lock that kicks in, which also often breaks during the self-cleaning feature, but the lock is designed to keep the door locked tight so that somebody who comes into the kitchen wouldn't by accident open the door because if they did it would release such hot gases that you could get burned really bad and the manufacturers even say that during the self-cleaning feature you wouldn't want to let pets come in you wouldn't want to let um, small children in because of the danger of that excessive heat so once the feature is done doing its thing you need to give it a couple of hours to really cool down before you even want to touch any of the oven components. So in balance, if you think about the, like the risk benefit ratio, like is it, is it worth it uh, for the benefit I get, is it worth it to take these risks? In my opinion, as somebody who does these repairs all the time, I would say no, because it's very expensive and uh, it's very inconvenient to have your oven down. Um, and that's also the dangers that we talked about. But paying the extra $100 for the self-cleaning feature, I think it's a good idea because again, if you think about the cumulative energy savings that you would get by having the more insulation, I think it's worth it. So hopefully this will be helpful for you to make your decision on whether you should use your self-cleaning feature of your oven or whether to buy one with the self-cleaning feature. And I hope this can uh, save you some aggravation and save you some money. Thanks for watching watching our video and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance and also click the little bell notification button so we can send you uh, weekly videos on all the different ways of fixing appliances around your home and saving you lots of money so thanks again for watching and please also press the like button for our video if this was helpful to you to contact me at 
the email listed below, which has got the fixit guy at yahoo.com with any of your questions.